Dear members of AVAPA, dear, dear, dear alumni, dear panelists and participants, the coming decade is going to be one of the key decades in human history. I know, you've heard this before many times, but this time it is getting pretty serious. With the rapidly changing climate and the staggering loss of biodiversity, humanity is facing one of its biggest challenges yet. What we have to accomplish in the next years in order to safeguard the future of humanity's next generations is breathtaking. We'll have to rethink and reshape the way we work, the way we travel, the way we live. In short, we'll have to rethink how our societies work. Not easy. Where should we begin then? Today, over half the world's population lives in cities. In Latin America and the Caribbean, the urban areas hold more than 80% of the region's inhabitants. It's here that we face some of our biggest challenges when it comes to energy transition, waste management and transportation. One just has to have had experience Bogota's traffic to know that that is true, and I can tell you all about it. Cities and so far provide us with an impressive concentration of some of the major challenges, but it is for cities, however, that we have already a whole host of ideas for possible solutions. These range from smart grids to electric mobility to the notions of a circular economy. It hence makes sense to start in these places where so much of human life takes place. So let's start here. Shaping sustainable cities in Latin America. This virtual summit could hence not have chosen better or timelier topic. Over the next three days, experts from around the world will share their experience and knowledge and discuss a wide breadth of topics from environment to sustainable planning, from energy transition to smart systems and mobility. They will discuss new perspectives on sustainable and intelligent cities applied to the Latin American context and give you the opportunity to connect and expand your network. I'm particularly pleased that today so many DRD alumni from Me Mexico to Uruguay are participating. The scholarships and academic exchange programs of the DRD have been created in the hope of establishing long-lasting relationships with young, bright people from all over the world. The fact that so many DRD alumni have kept in touch and are participating today shows that this hope was not in vain. Thank you for your participation and stay in touch with the DRD and with Germany. Finally, I would like to thank Avapa and for organizing the summit. The program they created is indeed impressive. Simply, the wide range of speakers and panelists speaks of hard work and dedication. Thank you very much to everybody who was involved. I would now like to wish you all an interesting and fruitful summit. Thank you.